the tough guys who came to kill but stayed to Civil rights are suspended as research labs work desperately to find a treatment. Research labs are working around the clock to find a treatment. Except someone right down at the end of the day, the fire inspection is described by eyewitnesses as a rapid rotting away of the organism. Government agencies report the failure to check the spread of the disease now called the rot. All exits, including freeway to Mexico, the National Guard now control all checkpoints. Every business of the governor has declared a state of martial law. I repeat that martial law has been declared. Of martial Ladies law. and gentlemen, this will be our final transmission. The fate of the world rests in God's hands now. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, step right this way. I would like to welcome you to Uncle Woody's Fun Park. We got rides at Uncle Woody's. We got booze at Uncle Woody's. We got the hottest hookers around. Come right on in and look at them. We've got dirty hookers, cheap, naughty, any kind of... Oh, you wasn't with the wrong bitch, asshole. Shut up, fuckbag. You must be the new guy. Yeah, the name's Mason. Good. You can shack up down the street. Meet me later. We've got a job for you. So come one, come all to Uncle Woody's fun Follow the tunnel around till we pass the Four Star Hotel. Let's head over to the Rex Center next. The local riffraff use it to hide out from Axel and his sentinels. They're the guys that run Paradise City. Hell, sometimes they think they run Lava Falls.
keep going straight till we get to the airport, but you gotta be careful, all right? Because that's gaucho territory. Follow the road around the back side of the airport. There's a little shop I want to show you. It's called Superflix. That's where I pick up Uncle Woody's dirty movies. This next stop is a place called Wet Hole Pub. There's good drinks, a lot of good music, good times, and most importantly, good women. All right, Mason, this next place is really important, so let's go check out the garage. It's taking you so long. Get your ass back here and bring the new guy. I've got a job for you. Look, I'm trying to be reasonable. I just can't come up with it before then. I don't care. I have to answer to Uncle Woody, and that means you answer to me! I'll be paying you a visit and bringing along some friends this time. I'm sure you still remember my friends. Yeah, yeah, I remember. We're through. I'll see you tonight. I'm trying to be reasonable. Oh, and send in a new guy. You, new guy. You here for business, or are you here for pleasure? Business. Passing through my way to Paradise City. Heard you were looking for help. <laughs> Paradise City, is it? Nice bold thoughts for a nobody. You've got to earn some respect first, mate. And respect don't come easy around here. Well, I'm not here to ride the sit and spin, pal. Well, usually Uncle Woody runs this show. But he's busy right now. So if you want to do me a favor, go over to the Palace Hotel and pick up any scrap you can find. Then pick up some weapons. And if you can handle that, I might have another job for you. Freak. Alright, we gotta go pick up the scrap first, so head to the Palace Hotel. It's next to the Four Star. to pick up some weapons. Let's head over to shoot your load guns. Minigun, a personal favorite of mine. That baby really tears shit up. 
Looks like there was a wee bit of trouble last night. The gauchos left one of our own for the scavengers. Go return the favor and give those bastards something to talk about. You heard the man, it's payback time. There he is, kill him! Good I job! It, if you want to make a name for yourself and get Uncle Woody's attention, hell, anybody's attention, that's the way to do it. He spotted us. Run him over. I'm on. Ha, he's dead. Let's go find the next one. Shit, he's taken off! Kill him! those guys a lesson. When you're ready, let's head back to the pot. Stooge. Let me tell you something. One thing I can't stand is a dirtbag that can't keep his fucking mouth shut! Lesson number one. Never let anyone outside the family know your fucking business. Especially Uncle Woody's business. This scumbag tipped off the gauchos. They're waiting for him over at the parking garage. Want you to go there in his place. Warn those fucking tricks. Now I don't ever want to see you again. Do we understand each other? <laughs> no. I, I don't think you do! Oh! That's a real nasty slice you got there, pal. Oh yeah, the fucking guy moved though, didn't he? Gabe thinks you'll need someone to watch out for you, so I'll take over the turret gun from now on. Alright, Mason, be ready for this guy. I'll light him up when we get close.
There he is! Let's get that piece of shit! What the hell? Get him, Ramon! Hey man, I warn you! Alright! Okay, okay, time out! I get him! A lightweight door, but, but not before breaking his nose, of course. Had to take a new practice swing. Hey listen, I want you to head over to Pill Stop and destroy his merchandise. Only if he gives you any trouble, whack him! Hey Mason, when we get over to the pill stop, I'll let you try out the turret gun. Everything is ready, baby. I told them exactly what you said. All they need is a time and a place. That a girl? Uncle Woody's such a fuckstick. Me and Chino are gonna run this show soon. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Alright. Go pick up my car over at the airport. Get it repaired, and then bring it back here. Nice cans. Be on the lookout when we get to the airport. The gauchos are gonna be pissed when they see us on their turf.
Man, this guy's all beat the shit. We better go fix her up. Oh, Hannah, I forgot to tell you. I had a wee bit of trouble with the Sentinels last night. That's why I ditched the car in the airport. They may be after your ass, so watch out. You know, nitrous is one thing, but there's another little trick to get the signals off your ass. things done. Let's get this car back to camp. <laughs> All right. Looks like we'll have to make do with three then, won't we? Hang on. All right, listen. Seems we've got a troublemaker. We had a fourth golfer tonight, but she got knocked around. The gaucho that did it is pumping us out of business. He fucks with us. We fuck... We fuck with him. He has a shipment of booze coming in for his nightclub. I want you to drive over to the club and wait for that shipment to arrive. And when it does, I want, I want, I want you to destroy all of it. Oh, yeah, and one more thing. Drive over to the funhouse when you're finished. Uncle Woody wants to meet with you. <laughs> Looks like you're moving up, mate. <laughs> all right, girls, time to figure out which one of you little trollops gets to party with Uncle Woody tonight. Oh, what say you give us a taste, then? Oh, yeah. For this job, I'll let you do the shooting. I know how much fun you had blowing the hell out of Wade's shop. Safari on! Kill him! We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for the following late-breaking news report. 
Earlier today, violent gunplay was reported in the vicinity of the backdoor nightclub. Onlookers have testified that the deadly squabble was between two rival gangs, the Daredevils and the Gauchos. Two Der Kleinschlanger beer transport trucks were also damaged during the incident. A service will be held tomorrow for the lost beer. May God be with them. News on the hour, on the half, and when we're forced to tell you, I'm Heath McGillivray. I want to show you something, boss. Well, look what we have here. I found him nosing around the park. Get him out of there. Bring him inside. Let's hear what he has to say. Hello? Anybody running this freak show? So, you are the new guy I've been hearing about. Come over here. Let me get a look at you. Know anything about these guys? Not anything I want to remember. Well, the friend of this piece of shit drove off in one of my trucks. I want you to chase him down and get my goods back. Make sure and recover all the cargo. I don't know what these guys are up to and I don't really care. But when someone starts snooping around in my business, I'm gonna start snooping around in theirs. Hey, scumface, what are you looking for? Don't think that keeping your mouth shut is gonna save your ass. <laughs> Drag this piece of shit over to the crab zone. And make sure everybody sees him. I run this town, not the gauchos, and certainly not the sentinels. What's that? Found the truck at the tunnel. Go get my cargo and get back here. I don't have all fucking day. Pay attention, He's taking off. Let's get him. Whoa, hey, go easy on that trigger. Don't destroy the merchandise. Sentinels are headed that way. Be on the lookout. I got a bad feeling about this fucking job.
shit, these sentinels are everywhere. Let's get this cargo back to Uncle Woody. No, things are great, boss. Good. Because I have some good news and some bad news, Chino. The bad news is I have a rat working for me. What's the good news? I know who the rat is. Hey, how you doing? Have a seat. Thanks. I think I'll stand. See that piece of meat? He and his friends were making deals with the gauchos behind my back. I took care of him, but his friends are waiting for him over at the airport. I want you to go take care of him. Don't let them get away! You know, I figure they're too dumb to rip me off by themselves. So when I find out who else is involved, they're gonna be fucked! Follow Bishop around and see where he goes. If he stops off at Bioside, then we know he was working with Chino! There he is. Let's keep our distance and tail. We just spotted Bishop over at the bio side. He's working with Chino and the Gauchos. I knew it. Kill him! You had the man. Let's waste this trick. There I was, telling this guy what happens to people that steal from me. I'm not talking about just cutting off some fingers or even a hand. I'm talking about some serious pain. Then this piece of shit starts crying his eyes out on me. Please, please don't kill me, boo-hoo. <laughs> what does he think I am, fucking Mother Teresa, a fucking boy scout? 
So I put the gun against his head to shut him up. Forget this. The dumb fuck grabs my hand and the gun goes off. Now I'm sitting there with blood all over me, thinking I was about to let this poor bastard go with just a broken leg. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny, boss. Funny? What do you mean, funny? Funny how? Uh, n no, boss, I mean... Get out of my sight. Yes, boss. I got another job for you. Seems the gauchos have gotten their filthy hands on some blueprints. Steal them! I don't want a stinking gaucho driving around in some swanky new car. It's bad enough they've been stealing our weapons and selling them to Paradise City. Well, yeah, we can't have that. Head over to the grease spot. They have a Brahma you can borrow. That way you can snoop around and find those blueprints. So, Uncle Woody sent you to pick up the Brahma. Look, I don't want to be an ass because I owe him a favor. But the Gauchos will be back to pick it up soon, so hurry it up! Jason, I asked around and found out the first blueprint is hidden in a ditch behind the airport. Get over there and find it! There's a crate on top of the parking garage that goes with that blueprint. Head over there next. some more info. There's another crate on Webley's Gigantes. Find it! Another crate is located on the airport terminal. Find a way to get up there!
this one's easy. It's located at the end of the runway next to the radar. Go pick it up. Get back to the garage with the Brahma. Watch it, puppy! Pole smoker. So, what's up? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what's up? A gun barrel up my ass. That's what's up! Would you listen to this fucking guy? As if nothing were wrong. Uncle Woody's a wee bit pissed, my friend! Whoa, 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 settle down, girls. Pissed about what? You know what he's pissed about, you fucking rat. I don't trust you with the package. I'll deliver it myself. Package? W what the fuck are you talking about, package? You got it all mixed up. He's got a good rep. Oh, tell me I don't know what I'm talking about. I'll kill the fucking both of you! Now Uncle Woody knows about the deal you and Chino had with the Gauchos, mate. So he decided to go ahead and deliver the fucking package himself. Chino, fuck, he worked for you. Hold on, hold on, wait a second. You never said anything about killing him. Yeah, well, there's a time to talk and there's a time to shoot, isn't there? Look, someone's got to make that fucking delivery, and it's sure as shit not gonna be ham. Oh, that was productive. Fucking retards. Thank you very much. Shit, the whole damn place is after us. Let's get the hell out of here. Like we got company. Head for Mr. Green King. We can drop off the briefcase there. We better hurry. If we don't get to Mr. Green Jeans in time, our contact's gonna be killed. Ah oh, shit, he's dead. Get to the four-star hotel. Have a seat. Whoa, whoa, now hang on a sec, Uncle Woody. I came here to work this out, alright? Not get shot. It's a pity. I kinda liked you. 
Okay, fine, fat man, if this is the way you want it. Doesn't matter to me if I have to kill you or not. You're just another fucking cockroach to me anyway. All good things must come to an end. I always did hate clowns, especially clowns with guns. Go for the bumper car! Mason, you should have never come back. this broadcast for a late breaking weather report. Lava Falls is under a thunderstorm warning. We urge you to be very careful when traveling, unless you're one of those savage nomads who stole my hatchback. This is Heath McGillroy with another late breaking weather report. Alright now, nail him in the head and wipe that smile off his face! Interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for the following late-breaking news report. After years of daredevil tyranny, the Gauchos have opened up Highway 69 to Blister Canyon. Rumor has it that they are using this newfound turf to not only expand their prostitution ring, but to bolster their ever-popular video rental business. Those Gauchos gotta give it to them. Or at least, let them give it to each other. News on the hour, on the half, and when we're forced to tell you, I'm Heath McGillivray. Vision. I have monumental plans for a new city. Glorious plans. Now that we've driven off the other gangs, it's time to rebuild. Rebuild a society the way it should be. Well, it all starts with calming this chaos. You gotta gain the trust of the people. Yes, gaining their trust. Every person between here and the Waste will be under sentinel control. I want them eating out of my hands. They will bow to me. That's a whole nother fight. Yes, in time this will all be ours.
your drill instructor. From now on, you pukes will respond to me with sir. Do you understand? Sir, yes, sir. <coughs> I will mold you into section eight. I will strip you down and turn you into fucking robots. You will not feel pain. You will not feel remorse. You will kill the enemy. Who is the enemy? The Talon, sir. Say it like your life depends on it. The Talon, sir. <coughs> Somehow I doubt you're here to join as a recruit there, sweet cheeks. True. I heard you guys could use some help. Normally our squad runs as a self-sufficient fighting unit. However, there are circumstances that arise when we like to use someone from the outside. Someone discreet. So, you need someone to do your dirty work. You bet your sweet fucking ass. Well then, I'm your guy. Good. We're currently at war with the Talons. I need someone to protect our scout as it travels into enemy territory and gathers information. It's your assignment if you want it, cutie. Mm. There he is! Follow him! Alright, here we go. Now be on the lookout for the town. It's not quick been spotted, man!
We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for the following late-breaking news report. Gang leader and self-proclaimed patron saint of pain, Uncle Woody, was killed today in a shootout that occurred at Uncle Woody's Fun Park. Time to find out how good a shot you are, soldier. I need a sniper for this next assignment. Very nice. Don't be afraid to choke up on it. Two-hander, huh? Oh, oh, I used to live there. It was a nice place, one bedroom. Eeny, meeny, miny, ho. Holy shit, I found a target. Talent scout on the roof of the Narco Lux. Kill him! Very nice. I like the way you're holding that weapon, soldier. Oh, what is he wearing? God, would you shut up and brush your teeth? Somehow I figured you'd be a natural. Okay, here's the assignment. A Talon vehicle will be dropping off gang members to reinforce their positions. Follow the vehicle and keep out of sight. Take out each gang member as he's dropped off, and don't let any get away. All right, grab the sniper rifle and let's get moving. All right, let's find this car we're supposed to follow. All right, there's the car. Now follow him, but keep out of sight. Stopping at the bias side. Get ready. Right here they come, pull in behind them and let's see where they go.
They're pulling into that warehouse. Slow down. You want to end up in the brig? They're over by Earth, Wind, and Tyre. Follow them. All right, here we go. They're stopping at the Moon Me Motel. Get it! What's your problem, Private? I'm ready, sir! What's that, Private? What exactly are you ready for? You said that when I was ready to take you on, I should let you know, sir! <laughs> Go ahead! I need you sweet cheeks to steal back a briefcase from the Talons. It contains layouts for the sewers in Paradise City. Move out and wait for the target near the drive-in. Head over to the Talon's turf and let's find that briefcase.
The briefcase! Stop him! Oh shit, they're on to us! Hit the gas! We gotta get the briefcase in the safe hand! The Talons are attacking here, here, and here. It looks like they're throwing everything they've got. First squad is putting up a defensive perimeter here. Second squad is going to contain them from here. We need you to protect our flank. You'll be on your own. Be ready for anything. Well, I'm your man then. In a masculine, sporty kind of way. This is gonna require a steady aim. You take the turret. Just keep firing! Ladies, the Talons will think twice about attacking again. Bad news. Warwick's son was captured and is being held hostage by the Talons. I want you to sneak in and bring him back. By the way, Warwick is anxious to meet you. It looks like you'll be moving up. Get your sweet little ass over to headquarters as soon as you finish this assignment. Hmm. If we screw up this rescue, we won't be meeting the general, so let's get moving. Crap, they've got lookouts all over the place. Take them out before they spot us.
Stage the prison! Take out all the guards! Come over here. What the fuck? Get me the hell out of here! I see the dead man. I see him and he's by the drive-in. Dead man. Have a seat, Mason. I'm in your debt for my boy. Damn fool let himself get captured. I have an assignment for you. Yeah, uh, dis disregard that. Talons took over the power plant last night. They've dug in tighter than an Alabama tick on a crocodile's ass. It's simple. Destroy the mines. Drive them out. Reclaim the plant. I don't have a good feeling about this. I'll drive this time. That way, it's your fault if we get blown to hell. You take care of those tankers blocking the entrance! Alright, here we go! Now start clearing those mines! Take out the gunner! Here they come! Looks like 
Someone's gonna die! We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for the following late-breaking news report. Death by chocolate, they say. The patrons of the not-so-sanitary establishment Chocolate Holes were given a bit of a scare today when an explosion took out a large chunk of the nearby Blister Canyon Jail during an alleged escape attempt. The dust from the nearby blast blinded nearby pedestrians and drivers. However, powdered holes are now 50% off. General Warwick is happy to have... Keeping your mouth shut won't save you! If you leave it up to me, I'd sooner break your face than disappoint General Warwick! Tell me the name! Ugh. Tell me the name! <laughs> ah, fuck! Uh, tell me the name! One of our patrols captured a Talon scout. That maggot ratted out his whole clan when we ripped off all his fingernails. We know where Drake is. And he's second to Gordon Grimm. This is the chance to gain the initiative. Go to the parking garage. Eliminate Drake. So he's waiting at the parking garage. Sounds simple enough. Shit, so much for an easy fight. Hey Mason, clear the path so we can work our way up the ramp.
This is where we lost the cargo. The Sentinels are no doubt making their way out of the canyon and back to Paradise City by now. Mason, this is Job. He's got a favor to ask us. What's that? We found a new weapon, a rocket of some sort. We pulled it from a military base. No one knows how the weapon works, but the Sentinels seem to think it's important. They jumped our transport and took off with the weapon. Recover the weapon. We need everything we can get our hands on to finish off this operation. All right, whatever you say, General. Let's find those trucks so we can get our hands on that cargo. one, shoot him to make the cargo fall off! He's taking off! Keep firing!
Now we just need the cargo from the other two trucks. One more truck to go! Hell no! You! How's Uncle Woody? What'd you do with his body? What's the matter with you? This is Mason, one of our finest. Quit being such a prom queen. Yeah, yeah, I know who he is. But what the hell is he doing here? He enlisted with us. He works for the Section 8s. And you trust him? Yeah. I'm in debt to him. What's your problem? We've made a strategic alliance with the Daredevils. They're willing to trade with us instead of the Gauchos. I want you to protect our first investment as far as the tunnel. Protect the convoy. Make sure nothing happens. No problemo. Let's head over to the power plant and meet the convoy.
got trouble up ahead! <laughs> We're on the brink of driving out the Talons. We've overtaken their supply lines. We've assassinated Drake, Gordon Grimm, and a few Talon holdouts are the only ones standing between a complete Section 8 victory. We have an operation in the works, Operation Dead Lead. Intelligence has verified that the remaining Talons are bunkered down at the parking garage. We'll concentrate all our forces there to wipe those bastards out. Mason, you'll take a position at the drive-in. That's the only path they can use to escape. Take out any talons that flee. Let's get over to the drive-in and get this show started. Here he comes, get ready! And the crew's come to play. Oh shit, he looks pissed. You killed Drake, and for that I'll kill you. Mason, he looks hurt.
We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for the following late-breaking news report. The long-awaited clearing of the sewer system connecting Paradise City and Blister Canyon took place with a bang this morning as Section 8 forced dynamite-laden talons into the tunnel. A few talons and a couple of dynamite sticks later, the opening ceremonies were kicked off with an 88-car pileup as drivers jammed their way into the sewer entrance. Authorities are now considering the talons to be, and I quote, an enema of the state. Shit, that's funny. News on the hour, on the half, and when we're forced to tell you, I'm Heath McGillibry. What are we gonna do about Mason, boss? He's growing too big for his britches. You know he's going directly against your orders? <laughs> Not to worry. I'll deal with him soon enough. He doesn't see that they're cattle. They can't think for themselves. I brought them order. I drove out the chaos. I can set up a little accident. Unless you want to take care of it, boss. Yes, yes. I'll take care of it. Say goodbye, Mason. <laughs> Looking for someone, pencil neck? It's not you, football boy. Yo, if you got business with South Lee, you talks to me. I know you. Yeah. You're the one that offed Woody and wasted Gordon Graham. Yeah, I couldn't help myself. So what brings you here? I'm looking for the guy in charge. That'd be Coach Knox. He's one bad dude, if you know what I mean. Knox runs this town, huh? No, punk ass. Knox runs South League. It's Axel and his damn Sentinels that rule this town. At least for now. Axel, huh? You know Axel. Well, let's just say we go way back. Look, I don't know if you're interested or not, but I got a job that needs to get done pronto. The job's simple, really. A weekly bribe, if you will. We like to sauce up the Sentinels with a special little brew of ours. Why don't you head out back? You can make a few deliveries for me. Fast and carefree, that's me. Not to mention cute. You heard the man. Let's make a beer run. Pull around to the back of the nightclub. First stop, Paradise City Hospital. Let's get moving. Now that was a fucking piece of cake, my friend. Go grab another crate from the nightclub. Next stop, City Hall.
So far, so good. Next stop is the Paradise City Police Department, Sentinel Headquarters. Alright, grab another crate and head over to the warehouse to make the next delivery. Man, what the hell are you doing? People are getting thirsty around here. Paradise City Power Plant. Come on, Mason. Let's pick up the pace. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for the following late-breaking news report. The Section 8s executed Gordon Grimm yesterday in what appeared to be a full-scale assault. General Warwick has reported that although the leader is dead, the war is still not over and he will not rest until every last Talon is hunted down and killed. He will also not rest until he smokes, eats a bowl of mini cheese dangles, and finds a pretty woman he can, quote, rub one out on. Keep the dream alive, General. News on the hour, on the half, and when we're forced to tell you, I will be deliver. What do you think, Mason? Nice view. Hey, it's not bad, but uh, I prefer looking at your mom. Stick to playing stupid instead of funny. Suits you better. Listen, you did a good job dealing with the Sentinels on that last run. Now that we've taken care of that small problem, we've got to deal with the dregs. You interested? This one will need a bit of finesse. A lady's touch, if you will. Lady's touch, huh? Well, that's definitely got Spike written all over it. What the hell do you need me for? Look, we're gunning for the dregs. The funny thing is, the dregs are gunning for the Sentinels. Wait a minute, can't we just let them take each other out? That sounds like a no-brainer to me. I can't risk the dregs getting too strong. If they do, they could turn their attention to South League. Right now, it's too risky to hit them. Too much is at stake. Alright, so what do you want me to do? I got my hands on a new toy out back. See if you can put it to good use. A new toy! This is gonna be fun! All right, Mason, let's get over to the parking garage.
Mason, be sure they don't spot you. We're not ready to start a full-blown war. Back to the club. You're becoming quite the hero around here. Yeah, well, whatever it takes to please the ladies. We got a warehouse over on 5th Street. The drag lords keep attacking the building. They must have found out about the weapons stash. I need you to drive them off. We can't let them get their grubby little fingers on those weapons, or we're all done for. Oh, weapons stash, huh? Stop it, you're getting me all excited. Yeah, I've got quite the stockpile, let me tell you. <laughs> Looks like trouble. Get ready. Looks like we're too late. They've already loaded the cargo on the spot. He's getting 
the way, get moving! for the mall, hurry it up! Sentinels got him on lockdown at the police station. Now what did that asshole do? As usual, he was drunk and banging some hoe in the back of his van. The poor guy, I guess he didn't realize he was parked behind the police station. Everyone knows that Sentinel turf. He should've known better. So you're telling me Knox needs a rescue? Exactly! They've posted guards all over the place. Find some explosives, blow the damn building, bring Knox back. Hey, get to the police station. I'll keep an eye out for the Sentinel. They're all over the place! Kill them so we can get in close! over the turret. I got a feeling all hell's about to break loose. Got him! Now watch my ass till I get back to the stadium.
Master. Sorry that I come in a bad time. Mason, we gotta do something. I want these bricks out of here. We can't just kick them out. We gotta get creative. Find something of theirs to destroy. A call will go out and they'll be forced to respond. I don't care what you destroy. Just hurry it up so we can get them the fuck out of here. Don't touch. Oh, yeah, you like get that? Get your fucking hands off her! I have an idea. Let's find some sentinels to kill. That should attract their attention. Look, there's one right there. This should be easy. Better get moving, because they're going to be all over us soon.
Nicaragua. Got the retention. This should make Benny happy. Mason, get your ass over here! I heard about your little run-in with the Sentinels last night. And I have to tell you, that was fucking brilliant. It's Triple OT, and the game's on the line. South League versus Sentinels, Dregs versus South League, and the Sentinels versus everyone. It's a whole lot of bullshit. Ah, oh, sounds like my kind of game. Let me lay it down for you. Here's the game plan. First, we deal with Sage and his gang of Dregs. They've been blitzing us hard. Harder than a motherfucker. Then we deal with Axel and then the Sentinels. Then he tells me you and Axel are old teammates. Well, we... No. No, we're just... Look, I'm gonna kick his fucking ass when I see him, alright? So you two are on opposite sides of the bar. I see a tremendous rivalry in the making. For now, I have a play for you. Bronx, get your ass in here. Uh, yeah, coach? Bronx, take Mason here. Show him how we do our run and shoot offense. Oh, you heard the man. I'm not stopping till we killed every one of those bastards, so start shooting. Looks like I'm just along for the ride this time. Shit, looks like trouble back there. They cut us off!
Oh, we'll own this town soon. Ah, shit. Roadblock up ahead. Destroy it. I like these fucking odds! We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming for the following late-breaking news report. In an escalation of the battle for the beloved Paradise City, the South League gang attacked the Dreg Lords today with overwhelming force. The streets were littered with Dreg Lord bodies. Many eyewitnesses report that it was the result of one man, the same man that killed Gordon Grimm and now apparently has his eyes set on Axel. Other eyewitnesses claim that it was the work of a seven-foot duck, demanding that the once popular television
We interrupt this broadcast for a late-breaking weather report. The completely suicidal storm chasers are reporting that a tornado has touched down and is moving across Paradise City. It will kill you. I'm serious. Our offensive play calling has crushed Sage's defense. He's agreed to settle the score with a little sporting event. And by sporting event, you of course mean... A race. A race? That's right. And I'm not about to put myself in the driver's seat. I'm too old for that shit. Who's racing? Sage and one of our drivers. Winner fucks a prom queen. Loser dies. Goody. I'm driving. Let's go. Thought you'd say that. He's waiting down at the pier. He's getting ahead of his gun it! Mason, he's taking the lead! We better do something quick! Yeah. 
We interrupt this broadcast for a late-breaking weather report. Paradise City is under a thunderstorm warning. Please remember to be very careful when traveling. Hey, savages, tell your rain god to back the fuck off. This is Heath McGillroy with another late-breaking weather report. Our physical. Driving Mason, he'll never catch up now! Ha, <laughs> there you go, keep it up! Mason, I want to show you something. We've driven back to Dreadlords for now. And after what you did to Sage, they'll be out of commission for quite some time. It's time for the playoffs, Mason. Time to take it to the Sentinels. Put me in, coach. I'm ready to play. They've established these strong points around the city. We've got the guns. We've got the rockets. Hell, we've got the fucking bombs. Let's blow a hole through their defensive line and set them up for the knockout punch.
They're expecting booze. Ha! We'll show them a good time, all right. I replace their bill crates with explosive crates. Deliver them. On, this thing's about to go off! See it now. My body plastered all over the side of that building. This wasn't such a good idea. See you in the next life. Axel sent a message to me personally. He warned me against future aggressions towards the city. He's scared. Damn right he is. 
We've never been this close to taking the city. And I have just the plan to finish him off. Yeah? What you got in mind? Think, what does he do best? Runs his mouth like a three-year-old in a candy store. Exactly. I'm gonna put an end to those broadcasts. God damn, Mason! You're definitely in the running for MVP. Go get him. Ooh, right there, baby. Looks like somebody got their hands on some of Uncle Woody's drone. <laughs> Hey, be careful. If I remember correctly, they blow up when they hit cars and just about anything else. We interrupt this broadcast for a late-breaking weather report. Paradise City has been issued a tornado warning. We strongly recommend that you stay inside unless your wife's there, in that case, run towards the tornado. It's painless and fast. This has been Heath McGillivray with another late-breaking weather report. on the ground now you cannot escape this is your final warning axel you know axel if you wanted to get rid of me you should have done the job yourself and now you've come all this way just to let me finish the job. You didn't have the balls then. You think you got him now. 
you spineless, worthless piece of shit! Look what I've built in your absence! Look how many lives I've bettered! All you've brought to this city is murder, death, and suffering! Oh, you call enslaving the masses bettering their lives? Look, I don't give two shits about the fucked up fantasy you created in your mind, pal. All I know is, you're a dead man. Ha! You never do learn. I beat you then, I'll beat you now. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Bring it. What the hell? Fucking coward. Now you're going to die! Oh shit, here he comes! What the hell kind of car is that? Are you going to learn? It's time to finish this game. bit of trouble here. Buckle up, kids. Here we go again. 